Hey, so today is Sunday, June the 13th, and I had an interesting idea that I'm going to start a video blog. I'm going to try to do some updates, uh, at least daily. Um, I'm going to try my best to stick to it. Don't know how well that's going to work, but it just depends on when I have some alone time and I can do things uh, quietly and privately. So, um, this week, um, a new chapter in my life started. Um, I've had a strange pain in my back for the last couple months, basically, since I had COVID uh, back in February. And my doctor, uh, my pain management doctor, has tried some different things. Nothing seemed to work, so uh, I just got to reviewing all my medical records um, from my primary hospital, Mercy, on my phone. And I saw that when I was tested for COVID, they did a CT scan of my head and my neck. And in that CT in my neck, there was a notification that the radiologist saw a 2.7 centimeter uh, something in my left lung uh, and that they recommended a follow-up CT scan of my lungs. Well, no one ever followed up. I never knew about it. Um, so I read that and called my doctor uh, last Monday, a week ago tomorrow, and she scheduled me for a uh, CT scan. A stat CT. So last Wednesday I had a CT done and uh, came back that it's a fairly large uh, mass, uh, like almost five centimeters, uh, a little larger than the size of a golf ball at the top of my left lung. And it's in the pleural space, which means it's not actually in the lung, but it's in the uh, like sac that surrounds the lungs on the backside. It's not attached to my ribs as evidenced by the CT, but um, at any rate, uh, definitely warrants having something done. So my doctor called me Friday and they have made a stat referral to oncology um, to get a PET scan and uh, get scheduled for surgery to have this removed or uh, at a minimum biopsy. So. I've gone through the whole gamut of emotions over the last week. Uh, fear, obviously. Uh, fear of the unknown, fear of the C word, which is something that hopefully you will never hear me actually say in any of these video blogs. Um, my family raised me and I have tried my best to always believe that you manifest what you say. Uh, the power of the spoken word is something that a lot of people underestimate. But like if you're a Christian and you read the Bible, uh, you know, God didn't think up the world. He didn't dream up the world. He didn't write down the world we know. He spoke, let there be light, and there was light. He spoke, you know, to bring everything into creation. It was his spoken word. So, uh, I have been trying my best, as I have my children, to focus on uh, only speaking positive thoughts. So, that's what I'm going to try to do with this. Uh, the purpose of this video blog is twofold. Um, it is to document my journey, um, something I've never done before. Uh, I've never documented something in this way, but uh, that's, that's my intent, is to document every step of this journey and uh, to have something for my family in the off chance that, you know, something does happen, God forbid. Um, I want there to be something left behind for my children, for my grandchildren, so they can know their grandpa. Um, I don't know how long the cumulative length of this will be when it's all said and done, but, uh, and I may make this public before it's done. I haven't decided yet if I want to share these posts, um, but that would give me the ability to interact and have like a question and answer session because I know I'm not the first person to be in this position. I certainly won't be the last. And I have a newfound understanding for just how scary this particular situation can be. So, um, Everybody who knows me knows I love to help. That's that's something I, I value in my life and I try to do every day is help people out. So um, I may do that. I might not. I don't know yet. But at any rate, this is uh, episode one, uh, my introduction. My name is Josh Lins. I'm a 41-year-old uh, man who lives in Chandler, Oklahoma. I was born and raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Spent a good part of my life in California. Uh, my parents, uh, my mother and my stepfather live in San Diego in Ocean Beach. It's uh, where I moved my family with my kids shortly after my youngest daughter was born. I'm the proud parent of seven beautiful daughters. 
Shayna, Jacqueline, Andrea, and Anastasia. That's my twins. Brittany, Samantha, and Aurora. Uh, and two grandbabies. Andrea has my first grandchild, my granddaughter, Renoa. And Samantha has my first grandson, Michaelo. Uh, we call him Mickey. Uh, Renoa is coming up on her first birthday next month in July. And uh, Mickey is, let's see, he is eight months old, I believe. He was born in October, so. Yeah, he's eight months old. And I'm married to the most beautiful, most awesome woman in the world, Felisa Jo Lins. Everybody calls her Flicka. That's her nickname. Uh, she's my partner. She's going to go through this journey with me. Um, and I couldn't pray for a better partner to do this with. So, as we'll wrap up this first one as I noticed I'm rambling. Um, I'll try to post every day. And uh, everybody out there, stay happy, stay safe, love one another. I'll see you guys tomorrow.